اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یا ایوہ الناس انا خلقناکم من ذکر و انثا و جعلناکم شعوبا و قبائل لتعارفو ان اکرمکم عند اللہ اتقاکم صدق اللہ العظیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل العقدتا من لسانی یفقہ قولی Respected viewers and listeners, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The verse which I have recited is from Surah Al-Hujurat, chapter 49, verse number 13. Allah says, Ya ayyuhan nas, O mankind, inna khalaqanakum min zakarim wa untha. Allah has created you from one pair out of male and female. Wa ja'alnakum shu'uban wa qabaila. And he have scattered you. into tribes and nations لِتَعَارَفُوا so you may recognize one another إِنَّ أَكْرَمَكُمْ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ أَتْقَاكُمْ and the best among you are those who are good in conduct who are good in conduct صدق الله العظيم today the topic is the origin of racism and Colombian exchange transatlantic slavery or triangular slave trade etc you see the topic of today it will be very easy for the student of history because whatsoever things i'm going to share with my viewers the historian or the student of history will grasp it quickly But you know that I'm going to elaborate some of the points related to religious aspects too. You see, the ayah which I have read will be my moral support of today's talk. And the ayah is, already I quoted you, the best in the sight of God is the one who has the good or the best conduct, not on the ground of racism, color, race, riches, language, creed, not on these grounds, but on the grounds of solid conduct, piety, your virtue, etc. And addendum to this, the hadith of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu he said that no black is superior to white, no white is superior to black, no red is superior to the yellow one or the yellow to the red one or the red to the whatever these are shades of colors illa bi taqwa except the good conduct that what it matters all of you are the children of adam and adam was created from dust this is the hadith the last sermon of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam before he was departing from this earthly world he gave to the people that don't do this abominable stuff that I am better than you because of the ground of color or riches. This is the teachings of Holy Quran and this is the teaching of Islam. Now let's come to the Holy Bible. You see, you read Genesis chapter 9 verse number 20. Beginning of the beginning, don't need to go far. I always tell in Christianity, the things you have to do, don't go so far. You're going just too far. It's very easy to deal with these things. You see, book of Genesis chapter 9 verse number 20. Noah came from the flood. He had three sons. Ham, sorry, Sham, Ham, Yafis. Sham, where the Shamites came, Abrahamic religion, Christianity, Islam or Judaism, etc. And Ham, another children, where the Indians, Aryans, and the respectively all other religions, those, those people scattered into different world. Yafis had the 11th and the 12th and Gog and Magog, on and on. Noah, according to the Bible, not Quran, we don't believe that. Imagine that the Prophet of God is, uh, you know, coming from the punishment of God of wrath, came on the people because of their abominable deeds. And that same Prophet is brewing the grapes, according to the Bible. And he brewed the grapes and he drank wine. And then he was drunk and he got naked under, in, the, in his tent, the tent where he was resting. So the second son of Noah, Ham, he saw his father's nakedness and he laughed it out. It's a normal reaction. So Noah was slumbering, not in a deep sleep. So he saw that this son of mine was ridiculing me, was laughing at me. So, uh, and then the first son, he covered his father. 
nakedness. Who? Sham. So father woke up. He called all three sons. He said, come over here. And there he said, daddy cursed harm, not harm, the one who was looking his father's nakedness. But he picked the fourth son of harm, which is amazing situation. And I'm asking Christian all my meetings that why did God curse Canaan? No answer yet. No answer yet. Why did God curse Canaan? Please provide the answer. No answer. So, God said, so Noah said that from this day, the children of Canaan will be the everlasting slaves for the children of Sham. What kind of curse is that? I'm asking, why did God curse Canaan or from Noah's lips? Why? Canaan was not there. He was not supposed to be there in the scripture to be cursed. Why did God pick him? And according to the Bible, Ham has four sons. Put, Cush, Mizraim and Canaan. God left all the first three sons and picked the last one. I am asking why when Canaan was not even there. You know why? Because Canaan became Palestine. That is why. And according to the sources of Jews, Jewish scripture, they said that when Noah cursed them, God turned few of the generation of those people, maybe Cush or Put, or maybe Canaans, Canaanites, into blacks. And this is the curse of God that your color is black. What Allah says in the Quran, Allah says in Surah Rum, chapter 30, verse 20, Allah says, the woman ayatihi, among his signs, the variances on your faces, the color and the tongue are the miracles of God. Where Bible says the languages of difference of the language is the curse of God. And if you read the Old Testament, it's written, the Babel, the Tower of Babel, they were, the people were making this tower. God got frightened that maybe these people are going to reach to me by putting these old high, high kind of skyscrapers. So God confused their language. He said brick, the guy is bringing water. So they were unable to make it because God was frightened, according to the Bible, that they're going to reach to me like this if they keep continuing like this. Can you believe this story? It's written in the Bible. So I am asking these Christians that why did God curse Canaan? He didn't do anything. It was his father. God should curse all the children. First of all, God should not curse. Oh, first of all, you said father loving and loving father in the heaven. What kind of love is this? I'm asking. What kind of love is this? Who can justify this love? The guy is not there. He has nothing to do with his father's nakedness. And God picked him that your children will be overlooked. I am not going to debate on that. This is the job of the pastors to explain why did God pick Canaan and left other three children. But all of the children should not be cursed on the first point. Now, coming to the subject, already started the subject, but more enunciation or more elaboration. You see, if you study, as I said, as the student of history, you know, for 1000 to 500 years, these Christians, these Roman Catholicism, these Roman Catholics, then later on Protestant, holding the hand, holding the Bible in their hands, brought those black people and showed on their faces that God made you our slaves. And if you die, God will put you into paradise. And God, the more, and can you believe the analogy they gave to those slaves? They brainwashed them. They said that if you suffer more from our whips and the flocks, you will have more, you know, level, high level in Jannah, in paradise. Astaghfirullah. I want you to watch the movie, The Emancipation. I'm not here to promote any movie, but I'm telling you, the movie and the, the hero, the, the one ever, whosoever, the main actor played the role, Will Smith. I said he did a great job. He showed the people that how the people were enslaved in the past. And now they're talking about the peace. Now they're talking about the virtues. Now they're talking about the wisdom. I said, your history, sir, is only a few years back. 100 years back, go back to the America. What did you do with those natives? I said, where did they go? Those natives, where did they go? Did the earth was open or the something, you know, the sky just took them up. UFOs came and took them. I said, where did they go? These innocent people, which you killed on the name of maybe God, your God, and you killed them and you gave them false hopes. You see, 
when you read the certain kind of sicknesses, your behavior comes like that. Racism originated from the Holy Bible, from Genesis 9.20. And since then they are just looking down these black people. And few of the scriptures, though not the scriptures, few of the books from the explanation or commentary books of Jews, they wrote it that when God cursed Canaan, you see God turned some of the people into blacks. And that is why you watch in the history, they even say to those black people that you are made for the exploitation. You are made for us so we can exploit you. God will give you reward of being exploited. Can you believe it? They tell to the people, they brainwash those blacks, innocent people. And they name them Peter, name them James, like their sound, and they remove their forefathers' names. You see, you need to understand, triangular trade or triangular slave trade or cross-Atlantic. You see, there is in a triangle, if you see on the map, triangle goes like this. Left side, it's a whole chunk of America. It goes a little down to South America. So South America, North America, Central America, then all across on the top of the North, then road right touches to the European con continent, and then going down from the Africa, and going back again to Caribbean islands. This is the slave trade they did it. Either the slaves were sent directly like cross Atlantic, all across the Atlantic Ocean, or they were sent in this triangular shape of a trade. Christopher Columbus. These people, Spanish, Portuguese, then French, British, and these all were the sailors, Italians, Christopher Columbus. These all people were looking for gold resources and they were going and traveling. When he hit and discovered these Caribbean islands, the West Indies we call it, he thought that he reached to India, but red complexion people, so he called them Red Indians, especially to the North American people. And this name, Americas, was discovered before that guy. And that guy now was, I think so, was Italian or I don't know, was Portuguese uh, from Portugal or what. He, his name was Americas, and from Americas, the name was named to that continent, America. And Christopher Columbus discovered that. Once they discovered that, they brought them uh, barter trade stuff with them. And they started this, what you call, Columbia Exchange. Columbian Exchange. Hold the exchange of the products. They call them staple food. They were in a circulation. For example, the things which were only to be found in South America, my, you have Guyana and you have many places in South America, those tobacco and then uh, trees, corns, uh, just what you call uh, grains, many other things where their staple food was brought to Europe. And then Europe people, your people, they send their products, staple food, to the people who were living there, not for the natives, the one who were living there as migrated people, colonists, for their pleasures. And then they got many diseases with them and those poor African and the poor native. When they got malaria, the smallpox, and these, uh, what you call, poxes of these, uh, these diseases, they took this, these diseases with them by crossing African slaves, that they took those slaves and when they brought this to native lands, their diseases, those native poor people were unable to coop it up because they were not immune to these kind of diseases. Millions of them died, even 90% of people died like that. What horrible incident these people did it, only for the sake of their businesses, their big markets, those days, they call them exchange, companies, corporations, they did it. So the history had totally forgotten the brutalities, atrocities, and propensities these Christian missionaries did by holding their Bibles against those blacks. And now you're gonna say that I'm making hate speech. Good luck. This is the reality which you can never evade and you can never escape. So you have to understand the people who went to the lower part of the America, those were basically Roman Catholics. And the one who go directly to the left, those were Protestants. That is why America is the Protestant and the lower South America is Roman Catholic. This is the reason, but 
both things were to be common that they were doing brutalities against those blacks. I am asking these Christians that from where did you learn these things that the blacks should be served for the white people? From where? Is it what the Genesis chapter 920 had done to your heads? Something comes up, like something you get the idea. And they brainwash their children that we are superior biological race. Subhanallah. We are superior biological animals or superior biological race. And these blacks are inferior biological race. And people got rid of it. Nobody talks about these historical facts now. Now what you have, what you're telling, Muslims are bad, Muslims are this, the other one is this, Islam is bad, Islam. That French premier, he said that Islam is in crisis. What did you do, you French man? What did you do with those black people? Tell me how those blacks are in your France. From where did they come up? From underground or from where? You brought those measles, you brought those smallpox, you brought those diseases to those people and they were not having any immunity and those blacks also brought those malaria and many other things from Africa and who paid the price? Those native of America. What did they do? Tell me. What was their fault? You went to their lands, you occupied their lands and now you are making immigration policies. That if this is illegal, he's legal. I said, how can you justify your legality over there? How do you justify your land of domicile there? And how can you attack those innocent people who are crossing there? You did the same thing 100 years or 200, 300 years back. So salute to Abraham Lincoln when he abolished this canoon and law. So what happened after he abolished? Those people who were using slaves, they were having businesses through them. They were minting and cashing money through them, stashing money through them. Now they were in trouble. So they got a civil war against Abraham Lincoln's private army. So he made an army and those blacks joined that army and then they were attacking south and north were start getting attacked. And finally Abraham Lincoln won because he was the president and people have to pay. And those white people, they knew it that Abraham Lincoln passed the verdict and a declaration and they deliberately hid that and not and didn't tell those poor slaves and let them keep working, working even after the law was into an effect. This is how good you were and holding those holy Bible in the hand and claiming all those holy spirit. This all phenomena or phenomenon of holy spirit, everyone was claiming and killing those black people. I said to you, all of them, this American, especially the American and European country, come to Islam. Allah says it is time now to come to Islam. Allah says that nobody is superior. Everyone was created from dust and Adam was created from dust, who is our father, and nobody is superior to anyone. How long, how matter, how long you gonna be with them or try to assimilate with white men, they will never, never accept you because this is something inculcated in their brains, in their hearts, that they are superior biological race. So this sickness will never go away. Islam produces not even the system of the verdict, sorry, not even the verdict or statement. Islam produced a system. Five times a day, all the nations of the earth, we join together, feet to feet, shoulder to shoulder. Prophet says, don't let devil comes between two devotees. And we are praying like this five times. In the Hajj, the hour for this uh, pilgrimage in a year, holy journey, all are in a white cloth. And even in Umrah, we do it, perform other ritual. White said, no king, nobody superior, king, poor, peasant, peasant, or whatsoever you call them, all are in one row, in one saf. This is Islam, not talking, practice. The Beatitudes of Jesus and the sermons, the sermons on Mount, all those were in the books, Islam implemented it. This is what Islamic deen, the way of life, I call all of you people, disbelievers, to come to the fold of Islam and inshallah, women especially, and I'm going to tell, discuss how the women are suffering in, in the Western world. They are being treated like, just like a tissue paper. Sorry to say, but this is reality. Women are being exploited the most in the Western and that is why when women started understanding the first thing the woman does, 
he proclaims the shahada of prophet muhammad peace be upon him because this media has been doing all these lies over islam by yellow journalism and then sugar coating it and then when people start jumping into the subject and deep this uh, and had a critical analysis analysis and a deep studying of the holy quran at the end they cannot help themselves or help themselves without being reverted wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin